This is the BlackBerry Passport. It's your passport to have a big screen smartphone with fantastic display, solid build quality and a powerful hardware. Is this for you and me people without suits? I'm not so sure, besides the hardcore BlackBerry fans of course. The former mobility giant is the shadow of its former self and has seen its market share erode almost continuously since the advent of touchscreen smartphones. BlackBerry always meant business and the BlackBerry Passport just means that. In an ocean of similar looking touchscreen smartphones, the BlackBerry Passport stands out. It's a perfect square and emulates a real world passport. BlackBerry says it's meant for business people who like to place their passport and phones in their front jacket blazer or coat's pocket. And quite frankly, that's the best place to put it, not the trouser or jeans pocket. The passport is not slim. It's 9.3 mm in thickness and 3.5 inches wide in comparison to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which is 8.5 mm thick and 3.09 inches wide, while iPhone 6 Plus is mere 10.1 mm thick and just over 3 inches wide. On the other hand, as we have come to expect from BlackBerry, the passport's build quality is uniformly excellent. The smartphone is very solid and the material used in this construction are very premium. The front of the phone is encased in glass and the bottom one-fourth has a plastic keyboard. The side sports solid metal bands while the back is made up of soft touch rubberized material with a matte finish. Now what is a BlackBerry phone without a keyboard? The Passport's three-row keyboard, not exactly a classic smartphone keyboard, is very wide and doesn't have any key for numbers or symbols. For those keys, the BlackBerry exploits a 4.5-inch touchscreen to add virtual rows. Walking on this keyboard would take time and practice and patience if you have small hands. The Passport's 4.5-inch IPS display is very sharp and boasts a resolution of 1440 by 1440 pixels and a pixel density of 453 ppi. The display has excellent viewing angles and accurate color reproduction. Outdoor visibility is also very good and at full brightness, you will have no problem using the phone under bright sunlight. The screen 1 is to 1 aspect ratio that we saw in the BlackBerry Q5 and the Q10 means that black bars take up the real estate when playing videos. This is particularly frustrating in case of HD or full HD videos, both of which are in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. The Passport runs on BlackBerry 10.3 operating system which brings in some changes to the BB10 but nothing that can be categorized as revolutionary. With the BlackBerry 10.3 OS, now, it's able to run Android 4.3 apps. The Amazon App Store comes pre-installed and you can also install some third-party applications as well. In terms of real-world performance, the Passport gave us nothing to complain about. The performance was smooth and lag-free and the apps opened quickly. Browsing was also a good experience thanks to both the phone's speed and the sharp screen. Call quality on the Passport is undeniably fantastic. Voices during the call sounded crisp and clear without any static or echoing. The Passport's 13 megapixel camera is good at shooting photos under good light, both indoors and outdoors, and the photos have decent sharpness and good color levels. The Passport camera takes good amount of time to focus, and when shooting photos under poor light, it was just not able to hold proper focus. The photos also showed overexposure issues, especially in the white areas in the scene. The 3450 mAh battery is the highlight, and phone will last you more than a day, quite easily. It's clear that BlackBerry wants business users to buy the Passport and that is why I felt a little odd using it while wearing a shirt. BlackBerry demands something from you and you will demand something from BlackBerry. And when the price is 49990 you will demand a little more.